Oh, let's start over. All right, folks. You'll know Irrational Games as the creator of, well, one of the greatest games of all time. The game that goes by the name of SWAT 4. They've made several other games, but this one's their latest. This one is Bioshock Infinite. Let's get started. Uh, we're gonna go with medium. The way that, uh... The way that Irrational scales their games, I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna go. If this, if putting it up on hard makes it so they're bullet sponges, we'll find out together. We'll just make it medium. I've played plenty of FPS for sure. I just don't want to get annoyed. I don't like being annoyed. Booker, are you afraid of God? No, but I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? I haven't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No. I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. One does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do, no. but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. I just do it honestly. So I don't have to hear this goddamn whining. Arrived. All right, well, I guess I'll climb the ladder then. All right, here we go. You guys need Shall help? Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. At least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. You know, maybe there's someone inside. Use up to move. How about W? Pick up a silver. Oh, okay, so we have little coins. Okay, so silver eagles are the money in the game. I only brought five bucks. For those watching on YouTube, this game has been out for about 30 minutes where I am. So we'll see how it goes together, folks. To knock on the door, what's that say there? Do whip bring us the girl and wipe away the debt? This is your last chance. Alright, I guess I'll knock. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. Uh, I guess you're expecting me? Anybody? Let's see, of thy sins, shall I cleanse these? Or thee? Alright, sure. I guess I'll wash up. Hmm. Good luck with that, pal. I guess I won't wash up then. <laughs> I don't like your water anyway. There's also some hidden money. And also, I picked up something else. I didn't see what it was. Can of beans. Doesn't add up to a hill of beans. What else we got? Just some flickering crab cages. Hmm. Looks pretty good, the game so far. Is anyone here? Hello? Hmm. Well, it seems that the structure from uh, Bioshock is still here, though at least the searching. I don't see why they change it. It was pretty good. Use telephone, huh? Hello? Okay, there's no tone. It's not even plugged into the wall. There's no cord on this thing. Of course it's not gonna work. Oh, 
Well, something happened here. People usually don't throw their shit on the floor. Did that say something different? To thine own land shall I take thee. Alright. Some kind of zealotry here, it seems. Oh god. Shit. There's apparently is a message to me, concerning that the note on the door is also a message to me. But as, you know, adult as I am from here, there's always time to pick up a quick buck. Well, let's keep it moving, I suppose. In New Eden soil shall I plant thee. Hmm. Use bells? I feel compelled to do so. Wait a minute, that card. Huh, so apparently a very easy puzzle here that no one else would be able to understand. Holy shit balls. What have I done? Well, it's signaling for something. Fancy. All right. Looks like they expect me to sit in their fancy chair. Exactly what I was thinking. Looks like it's yeah. This is leather here. Oh, well, let's get in there. What's the worst that could happen, right? Oh. Oh boy. Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The bindings are there as a safeguard. No, no, God! Aw, oh, damn it! Ascension. Ascension in the count of five. No, count of four. No, no, no. Three. Two. One. No. Ascension. Ascension. Five thousand feet. The hell is that? Ten thousand feet. Is that my reflection? It is. Fifteen thousand feet. Hallelujah. Holy shit. It's beautiful. Um, I hope something catches me. Oh, feels like there's a parachute up there. Where's this piano music coming from? Is there a piano on the back of this rocket thing? I suspect there must be. Father Comstock, our prophet. Oh boy, I've been roped into some kind of cult. Some kind of rocket cult. Oh, Jesus. Huh. Are we talking about Comstock or Jesus? Pretty good engineering to get this all work like clockwork, guys. Wow, very much like the bathosphere sequence for sure. Very nice water effects, too. 
I usually don't talk about such things, but that's some fine looking water. Of course, if they're using the same stuff from their first Bioshock, they should have some pretty good looking water. The seed of the prophet shall sit on the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. Whatever the fuck that means. We got the word of the prophet and money. I will take the money, thank you. I guess I'm going this way. And I have a health bar now, so I suspect I can die, although I'm not sure what could kill me at this point. The welcome center, I can just tell. Considering that's where it came from. Holy shit, what's that say? And in my womb shall grow the seed of the prophet. Okay, so this is his wife. I gotcha. What's this? More money. I'll take all of your money that you've let for, uh... It was essentially the holy mother of whatever cult this is. No, no, no. Okay, pick up a voxophone. What the hell's a voxophone? Oh, here we go. This is how the audio logs will be played. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Love the sinner. Without the sinner, the sinner what of the prophet. Sin. What grace has forgiveness? Well, thanks, Asshat. You talked over all that. We barely heard it. Search gift. I'll take the money from the gift. I'm such a good person. Well, they're not going to use these silver eagles or these silver dollars. Excuse me. Where am I? Heaven. Oh. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Best keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. Huh. <laughs> so you're just gonna wade in this water and that? Alright, whatever. I'm not gonna question what you do, sir. I mean, I should. Let's see, the lamb, the future of our city. More money! Hopefully that guy behind me doesn't mind. We also have some of those Russian dollars for whatever reason. Commies. What would they say over in Rapture? Of course, those events have not transpired yet. This, the events we're seeing here occur 50 years before the events of Rapture. And a hat box. Is there a hat? No, there's a dollar in that hat box. People are keeping money everywhere in there. And, of course, before I continue on, I am going to continue with my search for money. And there's none. So, let's get going. More things. All right, buddy. Well, I'll be seeing you. Where's all this water come from? Isn't this a floating city? This is some elaborate fountain system. This is ridiculous. And every year on this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Constable. We recommit to sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet had struck down our enemies at Moonbeam and not railed against the southern beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the southern beneath us but not accepted the three golden gifts of the founders, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just accepted the three golden gifts of the founders and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. If the prophet had only prayed for our deliverance and not led us to this new Eden, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just led us to the new Eden and not purged the vipers of the Orient, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just purged the vipers of the Orient, but not suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, it would have been enough. 
If the prophet had just suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, but not expelled the Vox Populi, it would have been enough. Excuse me. Is it someone new? Someone from the sodden below, newly come to Colombia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord? I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Colombia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Um, hey, I'm just looking to pass through. Praise be to the Lord. Cleanse yourself. Go on, no, I'm good. No. Nope. I'm good. Except baptism, I guess I have to. Okay. Let's just pretend. Hey, I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. Oh, oh you're killing me. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Oh, why? This is why I never trust you, motherfuckers. What do you want? We have a deal to it. Open this door right now. Okay. I told you. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. Go away. Mr. DeWitt. Mr. DeWitt. Nope. I said I'm not gonna do it. I thought I was, but nope. I'm just gonna stay there. Keep pounding all you want. Nope. Apparently, I'm going to have to open it. The hell? What the fish is going on? Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. These suckers got keys. They're covering me. That idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. Huh, I'm interesting. I can figure out where the hell I am. So clearly they glorify the founders. We have Jefferson, Washington, and Franklin. It's funny they actually did take away my health. Press N to help to navigate to your next marker. Alright. that set her above all other nations. And so each year we recommit ourselves to our founders and our prophet, Father Comstock. And, and recommit to, to our, our prophet, prophet, Father, Father Comstock. Comstock, so that we may follow in the prophet's path. Amen. Amen. Wow, look at that reflection, folks. Holy crap, I've never seen anything really like that. That's fucking gorgeous. Good on you, Irrational Games. The game at least looks our well. It fills our lungs with water. So they may better love the air. You're a dumbass. <laughs> he who crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels, watch over me and lend me strength. Shield my mind from fear and doubt so that I may hold fast against all invaders. Father Washington, hear my prayer. Interesting roses we have here. They're paper thin, but I mean, computer technology just can't, you know, render roses in real time at this rate, or at this day and age in 2013. Paragon of virtue, a rebel against ignorance and tyranny. Share with me your wisdom and let the light of your good judgment shine like a beacon through the darkness. Okay. Father Jefferson, hear my prayer. I don't think he's going to hear you, dude. By the sword, sword and, and the, the scroll, scroll and, and the key. key. Amen. Whatever. Providence, and that you see its divine hand at work. You got a black eye? Trans mundane. Your inspiration and imagination. No, I guess it's just my imagination. And open our eyes to the mystery. Well, just because the city flies, don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. Still got a girl to find. It's true. These guys are wacky and cracker jacks.
Oh god. Oh. The hell? Well, how convenient that I got here when they're apparently docking. Won't take off any fingers, better move back. Hey guys. I know, Mr. Russell. Now let me bother you. Just missed I bet we could have something arranged. Apparently no one cares that I just showed up. Good to see you. Can I just take this? Oh! You're a charitable folk. I'd give you a dollar, but I don't have the commands for that. I'll take the popcorn too. Perfect day for the celebration. Father Comstock must have foreseen and planned it just this way. Oh god. These guys are con <laughs> are cult members also. Hey kid, I'll take one. I want one kid. Give me that thing. Give it. I can't get it. You're supposed to sell me this dumb thing, right? Not just wave at me, you know, teasing me with the information. <sighs> what does that say up there? The tower protects the lamb from the false shepherd. Wonder which false shepherd that is. And who's this asshat? Is that stock? Must be. That statue. I just think it fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute, you know, divinity. Guess say so. Should he be riding a horse? I'd probably get it. Like does not matter to a Liberty Scout. There's no room for preference. Only duty. Yep, and Doc name a young age. Otherwise, they might think for themselves. On my way. Hey, there's a hummingbird. It's moving like a hummingbird too. You old rascal. Psalmstall's all right, I tell you. Says he's for faith, family, and fatherland. Who could be against all that? Me. Daily docking schedules, huh? Oh, I wish I had a pen and paper. I'd write all these down. Furs, dresses, suits, and cloaks. Hudson's best for 50 years. This plane's, this thing's been up here for 50 years. Are you kidding me? Everybody. Artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh huh. I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. Even the marigolds are still unplanted. All work which should have been done months ago. Uh huh. Do you know what he told me? He said that he was tired. That that the work had taken much from him. I said, Good God, man! Don't tell me about details. Just get it done. Something's wrong with this guy's neck. You almost finished down there? Yes, sir. He's not even touching your shoes, by the way, if you didn't notice. Let's see, what is this, a kinetoscope? What does it say? The uh, World of the Prophet presents Father Comstock's Gift of Prophecy. Hmm. Father Comstock's Gift of Prophecy. In the midst of the darkest storm. The great prophet foresees bright sunshine, and lo, it appears. What will the great prophet reveal next? Himself? Possible. <laughs> Behold! <laughs> I can see him in a big leather trench coat with nothing else. <laughs> Anywho. What the hell did I just see? Oh, another voxophone. Archangel showed a vision. A city. Lighter than air. I asked her, Why do you show this to me, Archangel? I'm not a strong man. I'm not a righteous man. I am not a holy man. And she told me the most remarkable thing. You're right, prophet. But if grace is within the grasp of one such as you, how can anyone else not see it in themselves? Hmm. Interesting. This guy's... 
Totally drinking his own Kool-Aid. Uh, it's Latin. It means... <laughs> oh, you guys, and your cute conversations that I walk about. This is the Truman Show, and I just don't know about. Also, I'm taking your cheese and bread. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, you kids! At least they can still have fun, right? What the fuck is this? What are they doing to transpiring? Why do I have a feeling I'm that miracle Chara? <laughs> the no reason, just... I don't know why I would think that. All clear. Good luck at the raffle, folks. By order of the Columbia Police Authority. Like today is serious business, you know. Hmm. Can't be everywhere. You are very tall, sir. I have to look up to see. I'm not used to doing that. Especially since everyone seems to be about the same height as me, or short. Maybe he has large shoes, and I didn't notice. Raffle and fair. Huh. Those things are freaking creepy on there. Hmm. Actually, don't get what your meaning is. But if you say so, what's in here? System, eh? And light variable winds throughout the afternoon. In short, a beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. Money for me, and babies. Now, oh yeah. Healthful. So we have all kinds of stuff. We have these medical cases. I guess those are the most effective. That can turn off radios. Fantastic. Anything else in here? Any voxophones? What's that? Cuttery box. You're teasing me. I thought there'd be a knife in there. Oh well. Just hanging out, sir? Nice hat. If you should ever leave me, life would still go on Columbia's gayest quartet, huh? Alright. That's what it says on there. See? It even says it right there. Well, they seem fairly happy. Oh. Oh, come on. You guys aren't even trying with the lyrics. You forgot again, didn't you? God damn it. That's so unprofessional. I don't even know what to say. I'm just gonna eat these peanuts and drink this coffee and search this barrel. Steal this money. Unfortunately, I can't fit all these firecrackers into my pants, so I guess I will not take them. Well, let's see what's over here then. Would you care for a boutonniere? We're raising money for the Girls Patriotic League. <laughs> Maybe next time. You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. I give you one, but my guy, our, our player character, is kind of a dick. I have so much money, I give her. You don't have anything to say? Well, you're in there. Is that some of that Comstock bullshit? Alright. Yeah, I wonder what that... <laughs> we have some stuff on there. Whenever I ate the food, said plus salt. Another Voxaphone. One man goes into the waters of baptism. A different man comes out, born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint until he is revealed onto the eyes of man. Ah, oh, geez, born agains? Reminds me of Dave Mustaine. He was so much cooler before that. 
But enough of that bullshit. Guess I'll just keep progressing this way. Back in five minutes. I mean, I could wait five minutes and you wouldn't be back. You, pl you kids playing Jonkin? Come on, try it again. You can do it this time. Man, you suck at this. And you're the ugliest little girl I have ever seen. Hey, you won that one. Good job. That's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. Who the hell you even know who I am, kid? DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Um. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. What the fuck does stop that mean? Guys. Pick 77? The fuck? This game have quick saves? Probably not at this point, right? Well, if it's in there, I can't find it. Oh well. Everyone's so vocal before, and now they're so quiet. You, sir. Oh. Hello. Oh, okay. How's it going, buddy? Marlowe's Panded Biggers. Murder of Crows. Proven deterrent against hooligans. Presented by Fink Manufacturing. Are you fucking kidding me, guy? Murder of crows. What are you trying to? Those I don't know what he sees. Money. No, sir. No, ma'am. Those are biggers. See, Buck and Bronco breaking. Let's see. Break then the curliest wolf. I don't even know what that means. Finest figures. Simon Pure. What's this one say? Who needs a power company? Shock jockey. Exclusively from Fink Industries. Praise be to our prophet and praise be to our fair city. Can I get some? I if I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir. No, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. All right, you're slooping now. Of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Well, shit, I want some. That was weird. A little young lag sir, there. Young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. All right. Find the devil, good sir. Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power. Hit the devil three times. Bronco. Though. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. Okay. <laughs> There we go. And there's devil number one. So that hoists him up in the air. Gotcha. Where are you? I see you. Devil number two. Woo, he's on a roll. And that's three. We have a winner. What do I get? Here you go, friend. And remember, if you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is your answer. Oh, cool. Thank you, sir. Glad to have this opportunity. Those dirty box are at it again. See them villains zipping around, spreading their lies and dissent? Fear not. I got just secure. Grab a shotgun and go to work. Okay. You got what it takes to keep our city safe? Good man. Now take aim and blast those evil box out of the sky. Head enough and I'll get you up right. Let's see if I can do it. This is an air shotgun? Jesus. I couldn't get that last one. Wow! Oh man, I didn't realize the spread on this was so big.
Did I? Cool beans, buddy. Well, I'm loaded with cash now. Any other things I can uh, play? So where are these? Bait and Easters and Son, Odd Made Stallions. The hell's that on its back? It has some kind of weird thing powered it. Huh. Interesting. That is that rod made out of rubber or what? Lift your leg again, horse. Let me get a closer look at that. Come on, do it. There you go. Yeah, what's up with that? Weird. There's no piston or anything there. It's just sort of extruding. Somehow. Oh, hey there, buddy. You're doing a good job. No one else is telling you it, but you're doing a good job. Let's try this thing out. Oh, yeah. Still got it. No prize for that one, huh? Just showing my shit. You know, that's cool. I won't need to take all your money. Have you used one yet? Oh my, no. I have. Buy it. Honest. Nearly blew the windows out of my house. Huh, I wonder what he's talking about. The horse? Did it fart or something? How did it blow the windows out of his house? Sir? The advances in science and wonder we've seen in our lifetime. Soon enough, Fink and Lutess will be sending folks to the moon. Wouldn't that be something? Moon people. <laughs> moon people? Hot dogs, hot dogs, Alexander hot dogs, Columbia's finest, worth every cent. I'm already and full. Hot, hot hard to get some. Boxophobian is out. Boxophobe. Hear your voice from the past in the present. Say something, Sonny. What's a boxophone? What's a box of phone? Holy shit! Exactly that. It works. A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. <laughs> Finest quality of sound reproduction. Sing the praises of Columbia and hear it again and again. Rejoice upon hearing the sound of your own voice. Well, it's just like a let's play then. <laughs> At least for me. I usually wait till Fink works out the kinks with them. It's safer that way. Vending machines in Columbia sell many types of useful supplies. See, life with vigor is a life that gets bigger down there. Yes, sir. Sure. All right. What am I shooting? Fine shot. Another shot right on the money. You're almost there. A natural gunslinger. All of those fox working in their boots. There she is. Daisy Fitzroy. Columbia. You're going to say, can I shoot her again? I like how these guns don't need to be reloaded. This is awesome. This is a display of marksmanship. The box defeated. Daisy Fitzroy slain. You, sir, shall be richly rewarded. I already got it. Don't worry. Man, you guys have low expectations. Or I'm just amazing. What is this? He's the amazing handyman. Only in our fair city will you see such amazing feats of technological prowess. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Apparently he's shy. Huh. Come on down and see the amazing handyman. Is he man? Is he machine? Only Colombian ingenuity could create such an amazing marvel. See, better man's auto buys the handyman. I can't read what's behind his head. Doctor recommended before. So he was apparently a sick guy in bed. And after that, he became a guy with a bird on his finger. I gotcha. He's bold. He's the amazing 
All right, so that's some kind of steampunk cyborg. I got gotcha. you. Sad. When you're that strong, what's there to be sad about? Looks like he's a slave, as far as I can tell. Or he thinks he's a monster. Hmm. The hell are you, salt machine? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> I guess. Four flavors. That many? Oh, a good old vanilla. Give me one of them caramels. Since that's what you got. No? Okay. Press produce. Sweet caramel produce. Gotcha. <laughs> even the even the vegetables are ice cream. Now, you know this place isn't all bad. Oh come on, do something fancy. Do do a trapeze or something. Oh, come on. Rock the baby or something. Oh, you suck at this. So rock the cradle. Whoa, buddy. I have no idea what you're talking about. If you're coming on to me, I I don't have any problem with that. I'm just not, I'm just not interested. You get him, kid. The heck are you? You have silver or golden eyes. Do you have anything? Pick up possession. Give me one of those. With just a whisper, they're all ears. Oh, buddy. She's not even looking at me. Yeah, I think she's high on something. Her eyes are completely blank. Press to turn machines into allies. Okay, interesting. So apparently this works on machines, even though it seemed to work on people. Oh, uh, was that? You got me, buddy. What's that? Salt's full. Okay, so salts appear to be our psi power. Also, I see a phonograph. I guess I can't use it. That's the same thing we just watched. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and buy a ticket for whatever this Sorry, is. Pal. The raffle is all sold out. I'll pass. This is reserved for dignitaries and very important personages alone. Yes, and that don't mean me. Hmm. So if I was to go like this. Well, if it isn't Assemblyman Buford. Your spot at the raffle awaits. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Odd. Always good to have gentlemen of your caliber at our fine fairgrounds. Might as well refill. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Tails. Give me tails. Tails. Aha! Good man. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. Whatever. Apparently they have a red coin. Cute kids. What heck is this thing? Huh. Doesn't look terribly cute. Tells this vending machine. What you got in here? Health kit, health kit, salts and salt. Hmm. Well, I'm good. Look at that one. He looks lost. <laughs> he looks just fine to me. Mary, you are a living, walking scandal. She's such a flirt. You guys have nothing to say? Machines will be taking in new stock soon. Is that all? Okay. Oh, so this is a new waypoint system. And this is the first time I've used it. You just press N? Huh. Much better, actually, than the last one. I can see why it's not on all the time. I'm guessing it goes in there. Yep. No, over here. This little beauty? Ah, the whole division got them. We're gonna flush the Vox out of the Skyline system. 
Uh, we gotta have the best. Uh -huh. They got any openings in the group? I'd love to bust some Vox skull. <laughs> Can I come? I want to be on your team of headbusters. Okay, I can't go in there. I thought I saw it glow in a special way. My Lady Comstock, of course. The prophet bless her and keep her. You nuts. All right, let's keep going. Macy's parade would really be, you know, complete with a couple of those. Looks like we've got Washington over there. We have Franklin. The sh shit. That was weird. I wonder what that was about. Monument Island closed by order of the Prophet. Are you playing cops and robbers? You little shits. Let's see what we got here. Madam Lutess, I have read all your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady. But I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. Hmm. So apparently she's going what against the fuck? order. What the fuck is that? I'm the false prophet? Holy shit. Well, this isn't good. How did no one notice? I mean, that, you think that'd be something they'd check. Jeremiah Fink wants you to attend July 6th raffle. Well, I'm coming, Fink. What are you guys doing? Throwing baseballs at boxcars? This is it. This is it. I feel like I've waited all year for this. Hmm. Everyone's buying baseballs. All right, whatever. Another vending machine. Same stuff. All right. Figured I'd check. I'm not expecting there to be, you know, a Smith & Wesson or something in there. But hell, there might be. This looks important. And now, the 1912 raffle has officially begun! Hey, mister! Mister! Hmm. I guess I'm supposed to talk to you. We're gonna get baseball. I'll Sorry. take one. No sale. <laughs> Silly. There's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? Yes. Oh shit. 77. That's the one I wasn't That's supposed to get. Remember. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Columbia? If you say so, buddy. All right, then. The winner is... 77, right? Number 77! How the fuck did I know? Over here, he's the winner! Number 77, come and claim your prize! I... First What the fuck is going on here? Oh shit. It was me, it was all me, please, please! Please, what are you doing? Come on, are you gonna throw it? Or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> I wanna throw it at you. Oh, looks like we've got oh. a shy one here. <laughs> we've gotta do something about that. Wait. 